Welcome to the game room, Wilder D. We're back for more Kirby Superstar Ultra, and we still are on the Meta Nightmare Ultra train, and we're gonna be going through some of the stages that kind of got gutted. And wait, what? No, we we're not going here, are we? Ah, oh, damn it! Why are we going to the Great Cave Offensive? Does Meta Knight know that there's no more money in there? Does Meta Knight know that Kirby has already cleaned the entirety of this cave? Apparently, nobody gave him the memo, memo so guess what this means? We're gonna start seeing the calling card of Kirby the Keeper, the Treasure Keeper, because uh, it's all food now. And that is the main difference of this little uh, adventure inside subterranean forestry. Um... And by all means, do not try to go out of your way to grab this food. It doesn't amount to anything. It is actually kind of worthless. But if you need help, and you probably will if you're playing it the way I am, then by all means, go f try to grab some food along the way. But make sure it's not out of the way. So that's the important thing. Other thing I can really say is that uh, Meta Knight's ability to cut... Uh, Cut and slam things. It, it, it's kind of interesting how Meta Knight just literally destroys this entire section. But here's where the problem lies about uh, Meta Knight playing through a mode that's generally meant to be explorative. Um, for one thing, Meta Knight literally, or Meta Nightmare Ultra literally just guts through this entire, this little level or stage or sub game or whatever you want to call it. And it kind of pisses me off because. How the hell did that hit me? Speaking of, it kind of pisses me off because here's the thing. We have all these really sweet looking levels and here's the problem with it. We basically go through most of it not giving a rat's ass about any of it. Like we don't go through, well, you'll see soon enough, but it, it just kind of, I just don't feel the way that they implemented this was well thought. Out. And speaking of problems, here's a frickin' Fatty Whale. Uh, Fatty Whale, the only reason why I don't like this boss is because of how slow it can go. He pretty much is off-screen about a third of the fight. And when he does this, it's kind of hard to get your bearings. Of course, don't try to frickin' down thrust, otherwise you might... Or do that. You want to make sure your sword slash, if you're going for a jump attack, hits its mark right when you swing. But we're all done with that guy, and you're gonna then start seeing the flaws of Meta Nightmare Ultra. Also, skip the cart. As you can see, Meta Nightmare has far better horsepower than that freaking old rickety thing. And now, you're going to get introduced to why Meta Nightmare Ultra kind of, uh... <laughs> kind of screws up a little bit. You remember the hub-like segments? They're not here. They're gone. They didn't do anything for them. You basically pick the door that you meant to would normally pick if you want to blaze through this mode and move on. And it kind of sucks because there are some sections that I would love to see Meta Knight go through, but we will never see that opportunity. So it kind of makes it interesting because the later games did something that would force you to take a route and it would force you to show off them areas. Speaking of, wave hello to computer virus, and I, one thing that's really nice about the computer virus is the way that it kind of made some future games, or future sub-games in other Kirby games. For example, Kirby's Quest and Kirby Mass Attack. The reason why I bought that game is because I learned of Kirby Quest's existence. And then there is also Team Kirby Clash, which then promoted the uh, creation of a free-to-play free, free -to -play game that Nintendo really wanted to try to push onto people. And of course, it kind of became a money grind, but at least not as bad as, say, some other mobile games. <laughs> Mario Tour! <laughs> hmm. I mean Mario Kart Tour, sorry. I don't know what I said earlier. But yeah, uh... I will say this, it, it's really nice to see that, and I really do want to see this happen, where a Kirby game, or Kirby RPG comes to existence. Mega Man had his, 
Mario had his. We won't talk about Sonic's debut, because that was a thing. And honestly, Kirby would work really, really well, because he has allies, he has very interesting situations, and it, it just seems like it would be, like, butter on toast. Oh yeah, remember this place? Yeah, it's gone. They literally took the entirety of the ancient tower out of this little this little uh sub game it's like wow really so we're going straight to the end huh yes we are we are pretty much already on the fourth area they did not give a rat's ass about the old castle or old tower what do you want to call it and it sucks because the old tower had some of the most challenging aspects of great cave offensive and it was brutal at times Yes, I see you, Kirk. We'll get the hell out of here. But we're almost done. We pretty much just have a big, big rock face to deal with, with his nice chunky hands. And it's kind of, it kind of sucked to see how they did the Great Cave Offensive all wrong. It's now just a freaking cave. But uh, Wham Bam Rock will prove to be the most challenging of the bosses in this particular run through. And all I can say is to don't be done with your attacks. Just stick with the dodge and counter. And of course, watch out for the rock fall if you aren't putting yourself in some silly condition like I have. Um, then by all means, use the guard button. However, I am going to be very, very non-Meta Knight by just plowing through things, killing them like no tomorrow. Meta Knight has pretty much exhausted all his options and is probably pissed off that this cave is completely void of cash. I would be too, so what's Meta Knight gonna do? What is his plan now that he knows this cave was a bust? Well, we'll find out in just a moment. Uh, Meta Knight, that cave doesn't look incredibly what oh crap. Oh, okay, I guess you are starting to learn about your girl rush. Not totally has it, but it's getting there. He pretty much punched a hole through solid rock, so he's getting a good start. So that was Great Cave Offensive. Possibly the most disappointing part of Meta Nightmare Ultra. The fact that it is literally a run through the game. It hurts. So, here's the question. How is Meta Knight gonna get his money? Insurance fraud. So, Meta Knight apparently got his vehicle all replaced. But, uh, what's going on here? Why is he launching it off again? Why is he going towards it like he has a freaking sabotage wish? Well, here's the thing. Kirby gave him an idea. He wanted to train himself more, and he decided, you know what, launch the halberd, I'll destroy it, we'll get money off of it. So we're gonna be going through Revenge of Meta Knight. And it, instead, of, it's actually Meta Knight just getting revenge on his own plan. And man, he is doing the exact same ass whooping that Kirby did, except with a stylish slide. All you're gonna be doing here is just Hitting this button, of course, and then we're going to be charging all through this place, stabbing everyone we can, or sometimes through them. Uh, honestly, you should not have any trouble with this first section, but you will run into this guy, remember? Yeah, he's back, and... Uh, engine? Engine, you, you need to start turning on. Where's the people not talking? Oh yeah, by the way, you have to actually fight this thing twice in this playthrough. Thankfully, he's not too bad because Meta Knight just, just tears ass with his sword. But now we're going through, I guess I want to call it Great Gardens or Oil. It's Orange Ocean. What am I thinking? It's so freaking citrusy. Watch yourself here because this is the part that can suck. Like, you can end up taking all this unnecessary damage. And you don't want to because this level can be quite tricky, mainly because uh, small mistakes can lead to deadly consequences. I mean, you if you have a heal button by ancient... 
Oh. Yeah, that happened. So, uh, don't... Don't slouch on Scarfies, you know? that That's where things can end up very bad for you. So, because those guys will follow you, and of course you're thinking, well, I can get to the water before they can get to me. Well, if they don't and you have low health, congratulations, you just saw Meta Knight's Mask and nothing else. So don't trip yourself up there. Just And of course, watch out for these gusty little sections that are somehow underneath water. It, that part never makes sense to me. Like, logically, that part is the most confusing thing I've ever seen in a Kirby game, where you go inside a freaking patch of dry air, and then it just, like, slams you forward, slams you down. It's... It's mind-boggling. Also, this is probably one of the hardest auto-scroll sections in the game. And this is probably going to be the leading cause of many early, like, beginners runs because this section gets a little tight with douchebag enemies like Rockies that taking 200 damage to kill and these Scarfies in really nice situations and spikes of course you can't forget about the spikes and make sure to actually enter that door because the game does not really care about Meta Knight taking his time to get a like a breath it, it's like get in the door you die Oh yeah, and this is where I think the game starts to run out of ideas for the bosses, because we just killed freaking Wispy Woods again. Oh, okay, this is different. So we have two of them. We've already seen this. It's not bad. It, the only thing you really need to worry about is Gordos and Air Puffs. If the Air Puffs start shooting down, you get to one side and just slash that tree until it dies. That's what my recommendation is for that fight. Just dodge the Gordos and slash trees until death. Wait, Meta Knight, what the hell are you doing, man? We, You didn't need to do what Kirby did. You weren't getting shot at. Alright, so I guess Meta Knight really needed to go down this road. This, But nevertheless, uh, one thing I noticed about this section that I kind of like, it kind of reminds me of Green Greens. And a cla and then it also mixes a bit of the last stage from uh, Dino Blade together, or the stage before Dino Blade's fight. So it's kind of a nice little uh, reminder of, hey, remember these areas that we've been at? Yeah, I'm pretty sure we've gone up well over it. Of course, this is probably the hardest part of this uh, stage right here, where you have to fight two bonkers at the same time. Granted, they will not really give me problems. And one thing I've learned about these posts, you don't need to down thrust on them. They actually, Meta Knight's sword is so freaking heavy that if he slashes it, it pretty much slams the post down by itself. It's crazy. Take the shortcut, by the way. Do not waste your time going the wheel route when you don't have wheel. Just fly and get the heck out of here. You'll save so much time, because if you don't take this route, well, you're going to be taking at least a, a, two extra minutes. Thank you, F Burning Leo, for not trying to kill me this time. Like, uh, every time I see a Burning Leo, it's like, I am going to spit freaking ball of flame in your face. That's what I've noticed every time. Alright, we're back on the ship like we should have been. This should have been stage three right here, but uh, this is also a little tricky because uh, there are a lot of mini-bosses coming up. And that's not the worst part. It's just the massive amount of enemies along the way. And you, freaking Sir Kibble. But here, you're probably wondering, well, wh who's flying the ship? Guess what? Uh, Meta Knight has his posse here. And is this a mutiny? Is this a sparring contest? Or are we just having a grand old time of pissing Meta Knight off? Be very careful with the guys with the maces. The fact that they take more damage means you can't do your little sword thrusty move. Doesn't work out too well. Not to mention they hurt like hell if you hit them. Uh, also, watch out for that guy. That guy, Plasma Wisp, like, he's pretty much the enemy you need to, like, stay away from. If they decide to charge your weapon, you're gonna get a nice Hadouken in your face, and it's gonna hurt like hell. Like, but not as bad as Jew Kid and... Frickin' 
Poppy Brother Sr. Uh, Jew Kid is certainly the big threat here because his walking animation is a command grab. If you get freaking grabbed, you're getting slammed for a significant amount of damage, and that is probably the hardest part of the stage. But as long as you get through that, you then run into Combo Cannon, which honestly I thought was one of the harder bosses in the original. But then I realized that the cannon's really, really, really dumb when you have a good move that's not wheel. And you can basically trash that thing pretty quickly. Just make sure to not jump when it's shooting cannonballs. And since you're Meta Knight, you can just jump or attack it over and over again. This part is where we're going to get introduced to a lot more death pits. But since you'll be flying most of the time, it's not a problem. Just try not to get hit over them. Otherwise, you might end up in, in them. All I can say is that... Uh, this is... The windy part is pretty much where this level gets a little tricky, mainly because of having to fight the wind all the time and making these jumps while not flying into enemies. It's a little tough, but once you get past this part night, then it's pretty much smooth sailing. Hi, Mr. Frosty. How you doing? You, you doing a great job? Oh, you're fired. So yeah, Mr. Frosty not giving us any issues whatsoever. Meta Knight blowing up his own ship. Apparently, he really wanted to have a door here. And we are now inside. I really did like this section when I was young. Like, just this nice little duck action where we're pretty much seeing how this ship works. And unfortunately, we'll never see it again. But you want to make sure to keep going up because there's some goodies up here. I think I've already shown this to you before, but especially for Meta Knight. And now we fight you again. Uh, the only difference is that we have this chase scene, or this chase scene. And there's not much more to say about it. Like, this is honestly just, oh no, oh no. Y you can hit him, but is it worth it? No, it is definitely not worth it. Um, but I do like that this game is kind enough in the original and this mode to show you where he's going to pop up from. Because if there's one thing that pissed me off about the original is that it was just basically decides, well, uh, I really hope you picked the right side because you're going to get headbutted by freaking Heavy Lobster. Also also enjoy the fact that they gave Heavy Lobster his own little theme, even though I don't think he deserved it. But it does make the fight feel a little bit more special compared to, like, say, for instance, uh, Combo Cannon or Twin Woods. But, uh, honestly, Heavy Lobster is kind of not a great boss in terms of, like, being super duper challenging. But we won't, we won't hate on him. He did his best. He tried. But when you're up against Meta Knight, training for Brawl, I think anyone's screwed at this point. Make sure to skip that first elevator for obvious reasons. I mean, we already discussed this plenty of times before. But there's a button there to make you feel bad when you get stuck on that little doorway kind of lock situation. Speaking of doorways, you want to go in here, grab this mint, because Meta Knight does not eat chocolate. And then we're going to go fight the next boss. And you know something, guys? Um, you're probably wondering about one thing. Does Meta Knight fight himself? No. Meta Knight does not fight himself. And this boss pisses me off. Because here's one thing. Meta Knight's sword does not give a crap about flames shooting up from the floor. Also, we're going to beat this boss without taking damage, because this boss is always going to be pathetic. And we're also going to take out this damn cannon. Like, Meta Knight's going to make this boss a joke. Though, one thing you must consider is that this cannon does move a little bit. Alright, let's get this over with. Take it out, take yourself out. And here's the thing. You could do all that, or you could use Mock Tornado. 
And now we get to see Meta Knight's fantastic work on his own contraption. I'm pretty sure it's totally worth it. And you know what M and E said when they asked what happened? Meta Knight just put an additional comment saying, No my power! And that's pretty much all they need to hear. So Meta Knight has now gotten 99,999,900... 90 gold from that lump sum payment the question that must be asked now what is he going to do with that money we will have to answer that in another video guys unfortunately we are out of time but next time we will be finishing off meta nightmare ultra and it's going to have a good finale so hope you enjoy it thanks for watching have a great day and adios